Hi, my name is Evan Wright and I will be teaching you about the Florida Swamp Food Web. This video is for the appetizer part of my food web project. First up is the sun. This is the basis for, basis for all food webs in every ecosystem. In this case, the butterfly orchid and the bladderwort use the sun's energy to create their own food in a process called photosynthesis. This makes them producers. A little bit higher up the chain is the first set of consumers. Two main predators for the butterfly orchid is the grass carp and also the mosquito. Also, the, in the Florida swamp, the eastern mud turtle consumes the bladderwort. But sometimes plant organisms aren't enough food, and so an example of a consumer eating another one is how the grass carp also eats the mosquito. Then there's the second level of consumers. In this case, we are talking about how the southern leopard frog eats the mosquito. Also, a lot of times one guy is in the middle, like what we're here, the raccoon consumes the southern leopard frog. The number one predator of the grass carp is the blue heron. These guys make up the second level of consumers. Then there is the big dog. In the Florida swamp slash Everglades, that is the American alligator. He can eat basically whatever he wants, but his main prey are the eastern mud turtle, grass carp, and raccoon. Sadly, every organism has to die, and that's where decomposers come in. They use the dead bodies as food and complete the food web process by decomposing the bodies back into the dirt. Thank you. Created using Powtoon.